Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. What did Jesus write on the ground when the scribes and Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery to him? Nothing. The Ten Commandments. The names of the accusers. We are not told. The answer is, we are not told. John chapter 8, verses 6 to 8. When the scribes and Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery to Jesus, they intended to trap him with a question about stoning her. Jesus initially ignored them and began writing on the ground with his finger without speaking. The Bible does not specify what Jesus wrote. Question 2. Who said to Jesus, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Peter, John, Andrew, Philip. The answer is Peter, John chapter 6, verse 68. Peter said these words to Jesus in response to Jesus' challenging teachings about his identity as the bread of life and the necessity of eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Many of Jesus' disciples found these teachings difficult and left him. But Peter, speaking on behalf of the twelve apostles, expressed their commitment to Jesus. Question 3. Who was the woman who anointed Jesus' feet with expensive perfume and wiped them with her hair? Mary Magdalene Martha Mary, sister of Lazarus Mary of Bethany The answer is Mary of Bethany John chapter 12, verse 3. The event took place at the home of Simon the leper in Bethany, just before the Passover. The woman, identified as Mary, the sister of Martha and Lazarus, poured expensive perfume on Jesus' feet, an act of great devotion and reverence. She then wiped his feet with her hair. This act of anointing Jesus' feet with costly perfume symbolizes Mary's deep love and adoration for Jesus. Question 4. Who was the young man who fled naked when Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane? John. Luke. Not known. Timothy. The answer is not known. Mark chapter 14, verses 51 to 52. And a young man followed him with nothing but a linen cloth about his body, and they seized him, but he left the linen cloth and ran away naked. The identity of this young man remains uncertain, as Mark's gospel does not provide further details. Question 5. What did Jesus say to the disciples before his ascension, commissioning them to spread the gospel to all nations? I am with you always, to the end of the age. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Peace be with you. Go and make disciples of all nations. The answer is, 
Go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 to 20 All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Question 6. Who was the first person to recognize Jesus as the Messiah while still in the womb? Mary, Elizabeth, Anna, Hannah. The answer is Elizabeth. Luke chapter 1 verses 42 to 43. When Mary, who was pregnant with Jesus, visited Elizabeth, John leaped in Elizabeth's womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She then exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, and why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Question 7. Which disciple went to the tomb first on the morning of Jesus' resurrection? James John Mary Magdalene Thomas The answer is Mary Magdalene John chapter 20 verses 1 to 9 the disciple who went to the tomb first on the morning of Jesus' resurrection was Mary Magdalene. According to the Gospel of John, she went to the tomb while it was still dark and found the stone rolled away from the entrance. She then ran to tell Peter and the other disciple, likely John, that someone had taken the Lord's body from the tomb. Question 8 what was the name of the disciple who asked Jesus to show them the Father? Philip Bartholomew Andrew James The answer is Philip John chapter 14 verses 8 to 9 Philip's request to Jesus to show them the Father came during a conversation with Jesus and his disciples. Jesus had been explaining his relationship with the Father and had mentioned that anyone who had seen him had seen the Father. Question 9. Which event immediately followed Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River? Transfiguration Temptation in the Wilderness Sermon on the Mount Feeding of the Five Thousand The answer is Temptation in the Wilderness Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11 Immediately following Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River is the event of Jesus being led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. This period of temptation lasted for 40 days and 40 nights. It's a significant moment in Jesus' life as it marks the beginning of his public ministry. Question 10 Who was the disciple known as the Beloved Disciple? In the Gospel of John, Peter, James, John, Andrew. The answer is John, John chapter 21, verse 20. The term beloved disciple emphasizes the close relationship between John and Jesus. Throughout the Gospel, this disciple is portrayed as being particularly close to Jesus. 
often depicted reclining next to him at important moments, such as the Last Supper. Question 11. What did Jesus tell Zacchaeus to do after visiting his house? Repent and be baptized. Give half of his possessions to the poor. Sell all his possessions and follow him. Invite others to hear the gospel. The answer is, give half of his possessions to the poor. Luke chapter 19, verse 8. Jesus instructed Zacchaeus to repay anyone he had cheated four times the amount and to give half of his possessions to the poor. This demonstrated Jesus' concern for justice and righteousness and emphasizes the importance of repentance and restitution for wrongdoing. Question 12. Who said to Jesus, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table? The Canaanite woman. Mary Magdalene. Martha. The Syrophoenician woman. The answer is, the Canaanite woman. Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. The Canaanite woman expressed her faith in Jesus' power to heal her daughter, even if it meant receiving only the crumbs of his mercy. Question 13. What was the name of the man who helped carry Jesus' cross to Golgotha? Joseph of Arimathea. Nicodemus, Simon of Cyrene, Bartimaeus. The answer is Simon of Cyrene. Mark chapter 15, verse 21. As Jesus was struggling to carry the cross, the Roman soldiers compelled Simon of Cyrene who was coming in from the country, to carry it for Jesus. This event is significant because it symbolizes the burden of sin that Jesus bore for humanity, as well as the idea of sharing in Christ's suffering. Question 14. What is the last book of the New Testament? Acts, Revelation, Romans, Galatians. The answer is Revelation. Revelation, chapter 22, verse 21. The last book of the New Testament is the book of Revelation. It is also known as the Apocalypse of John, written by the Apostle John. While he was in exile on the island of Patmos, Revelation provides insights into the final judgment, the end times, and the ultimate victory of God over evil. Question 15. Who wrote most of the letters in the New Testament? James, Peter, John, Paul. The answer is Paul. Various epistles. The majority of the letters or epistles in the New Testament were written by the Apostle Paul. These letters, often referred to as the Pauline epistles, include Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Congratulations, you did it! You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this.
Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.